I'm gonna take this. Um, we played at Fort Jackson Army Base uh, several months ago, I think in the fall, and we were playing their chapel, and we really thought, man, it's gonna be horrible, because there was a thousand new recruits, they all had fatigues and guns, and they were lined up on these two bleachers, and we were in the middle, so it was kind of awkward, because we were playing to like the empty floor, and we started playing, and they rushed the floor and just start dancing. And we look over and they're not supposed to do that, I guess, but like the colonel just let it go. And so they're going crazy, they're dancing. We're like, what's going on? And, uh, and then like, we made them sit down and then we kind of like shared a little bit about By Your Side and we started playing By Your Side and Love Is Here and like they came back on the floor and like at least like six or seven hundred new recruits are kneeling down and like crying and worshiping God and it was like totally amazing for us to get to be in that situation for people who are about to you know fly to Iraq and you know fight for our country and that's pretty ridiculous. Well, this guy's been making us listen to a lot of Francis Chan sermons. He's a pastor in California, wrote a mildly popular book called Crazy Love and uh, he's been just challenge and the mess out of us about just where our citizenship is and if we're living eternally and where our treasure is and um, him and I think the, the Bible the Word of God yeah <laughs> yeah we pretty much stick there uh, you've been listening to third eye blind records that's just for the guitar playing that's though. just for the guitar playing <laughs> there's no message yeah. in that so a lot of books uh, hold on right there's this quote, I think, that's going to really encapsulate a lot of the next record uh, from Brothers Karamazov. Uh, Dostoevsky says, avoid fear because fear is the consequence of every lie. And so the next album is going to be a lot about where our fears are coming from and what lies we believe. So, We, we credit a third um, to the fans. <laughs> Uh, we we credit one fan uh, in particular named Chris Nielsen who went and started a website called Vote for Tenth and uh, dot told, com dot com yeah that's right and uh, told a whole bunch of people about it uh, like a whole church congregation and uh, turned out amazing he's awesome he may be president one day of the world yeah, I think it's it's, it's a little unfair because if if the next artist next year catches on they'll just become friends with a lot of graphic and web designers and then they can just create a mess of pages that will get tons of people to vote it's it's very humbling do you want to say no. it we i mean at the end of the day we didn't write this record to win this award we wrote this record so that people would know the truth you know and so just from the letters we received we get we're really humbled that God's kind of, we feel like he's answered that prayer and people have encountered him. So it's very humbling. Yeah. I didn't really hear anything. My wife screamed and then I was like, what's going on? Uh, you want to take it from there? <laughs> I, I, I heard our name and then people stood up around us and then I, I blacked out and then I, next thing I know I was shaking Michael W. Smith's hand as he was <laughs> escorting us up the stairs. And then the, the moment of the night for me was Sandy Patty was screaming my name. Jeff, Jeff! And I just reached down and a little known fact is that my mom was actually the nurse on hand when she delivered. My mom helped deliver all of Sandy Patty's kids in our hometown. And so we kind of go way back, but that was awesome seeing her just do we, that. We credit a lot of our success to Sandy Patty. Yeah. Record another record. Woo. Gonna go to the after party for the Dove Awards. <laughs> That's Sambuca, so if you wanna go. Excellent. Incredible. There, go. Yep. Uh, it was incredible. The first night of this past tour, the Rock and Worship Road Show, uh, we all had dinner and then Bart came in and he started to talk about why the $10 ticket that's so cheap and he said uh, he's gonna be presenting everybody in the audience with the option of uh, contributing to different uh, just ways to be servants. Um, as, uh, what else did he say about uh, we, we often present a premium or a free gospel for a premium price and so he's been he's been trying to figure out ways to lower that and maybe make it free one day so it's been it's been great working with them. I think, I think honestly, we, we, look, we look up to them in a lot of ways. 